Hi guys, I've partnered with Flavins to bring you four fantastic porridge recipes to get you winter ready. From the good old breakfast staples to brand new breakfast classics. These are recipes that are definitely not run of the mill. First though, we need some oats. Today I'm in Kilmac Thomas in beautiful County Waterford. My mission, to find out the secrets of Ireland's most favorite breakfast food. You guessed it, these guys. I want to find out how you go from this to these to this oaty bowl of goodness. And I know just the man to talk to. How are you, John? I don't know. John Flavin is the head of this family business, which stretches back seven generations and is the oldest family run food business in Ireland. And what are the earplugs for? So this is where all the noise is coming from. The oats are steamed in Ireland's only horizontal double kiln, giving them Flavin's trademark creamy taste. Then it's on to the de -holder. So you have the oats coming down here, right, through the sheller, through an aspirator which takes off the light holes. Flavins have been using this process since 1935, but the milling tradition goes back over 230 oh, wow. years. You can literally see them being separated like this. The oats are locally sourced from farms around the mill, ensuring the highest quality and consistency. Then it's down to the roller. John passed me on to the operations guy, another John, to show me this stage of the process. This is where all the magic happens. Where the oats are rolled into the flakes we all know and love. Aha! This is porridge oats. This is what I'm used to having in my breakfast. Next, they're dried and cooled, ready to be packed. Can I just point out that this is my favorite room so far. It's warm and it smells like breakfast right now. Last up, the packing line. This is a lot more high tech than I thought it was going to be. This is amazing. Flavins generates 60% of its own energy from renewable sources, including wind, water, fire, and sun. Fantastic. Okay, I want a, about 10 bags of these to bring home with me. <laughs> Absolutely, you're very welcome to it. Now it's time to put the porridge to the test. Is this the freshest porridge I will ever taste? This is straight off the line. Today's production, you saw the oats coming to the mill and within two hours, you're eating a lovely bowl of Flavin's creamy porridge. You can't get it better. So, so good. Delicious. Now I'm going to make some porridge. Right, I've seen how the porridge oats are made. So now it's time to give you four easy recipes that are going to keep you warm this winter. Now everybody needs the perfect porridge recipe and this one is my go-to. Put the Flavin's oats in a pan with milk, a pinch of salt, and give it a stir. Now it's only the tiniest touch of cinnamon, but it makes this porridge irresistible. Grate some apple and throw it in. Then as the porridge starts to thicken, get it off the heat and straight into a bowl. Top it off with a little brown sugar and the rest of that lovely apple. A last little touch of some pecan nuts over the top. And this is the moment of truth. This is so, so good and I hope you give it a go. It makes the most of those gorgeous Flavin's oats. Yum. Pancakes make a great weekend brunch, but these ones are extra special because we're gonna make up a simple oat flour using gorgeous Flavin's porridge oats. Blend the Flavin's oats in a food processor until they're really fine. Add the flour to a bowl with two egg yolks, a teaspoon of baking powder, salt, chia seeds, cinnamon, milk, and then mix it all together. Next, whisk the egg whites in a bowl. Add them to the mix and fold them in. Spoon the batter onto a hot pan. Add in the blueberries. Then add the blueberries directly to the pan to make a nice sauce. Serve the pancakes with fresh yogurt and orange zest. So good. Oh. It is super tasty and one that's a complete game changer for your weekend brunch. Enjoy. Now, if you love porridge, but you're looking for something altogether different, this savory porridge is gonna change your world forever. Toast the Flavin's oats in a pan. Add some stock, then pour in a generous glug of soy sauce. Now let the stock reduce. At this point, this is looking really good. That liquid has been absorbed by the porridge oats, and now it's time to top this off with some crispy fried eggs. Top the eggs with some chopped chili and spring onions, then a dash of oyster sauce for that umami hit. Serve the porridge with the egg on top, then garnish with sesame seeds and more of that delicious sauce. 
Now, it might not be your traditional bowl of porridge, but this is one that is well worth trying. Mm. That crispy egg is so good, but it's all about the creaminess you get in those gorgeous oats. So different, and so delicious. Harvest soup is a great standby recipe to have on hand when those nights get a little bit colder and a little bit darker. This one celebrates loads of in-season vegetables, but it comes together especially well with some creamy Flavin's porridge oats. To a pot, add some onions, celery, thyme, carrots, and potatoes. Top it all up with some vegetable stock. Once it's come to the boil, add the all-important Flavin's oats and some butter beans. Throw in some kale for good measure, and let it cook. Now serve it up. Simple. This is exactly what you want to eat on a cold, dark winter's day. Ah, oh, I mean, it's just a few ingredients and those oats really add a lovely creaminess and a great bit of texture. It kind of fills out the bowl. This is ultimate comfort food and I hope you give it a go. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. A huge thank you to Flavins for hosting me here in County Waterford. I've had an absolutely brilliant day. I've cooked, I've cycled, and I've learned how the porridge oats are prepared and made. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment in the box below letting me know which recipe you're going to try. And of course, like and share this video, and I'll see you soon. Now, if you love porridge and you want something a little bit different, this savoury porridge is going to get...